Hey guys, Jess here. You're watching TACOM, and this is Gears Feed. For those of you who tune into the Grand Finals for the Mexico City Esports event to claim your prizes, you should now have access to your Liquid Metal Boomshot and Lancer. They'll just appear in your inventory, nothing special you need to do. For those who aren't familiar with the quest system, make sure that when you watch these tournaments that you're on live.gearsofwar.com. You'll see a nice UI like this. By signing in and going to the quest tab at the bottom, you'll see a list of tasks to complete for prizes. Speaking of tournaments, we have a community-driven tournament coming up soon. Check out the thread link below for the GFC's Dodgeball Tournament. This is a forum community-hosted event and is created for non-competitive players, in particular the forumers. Signups begin on Wednesday, February 1st, and the tournament begins on the 25th. For those not familiar with the GFC, they work to create fun events for the forum community. Their events, while sometimes formatted as a tournament, are based around trying to create events that are fun and bring people together. For those of you who missed it, Onyx Guard 109 hosted a charity event on Friday. This event was to raise money for brain cancer research. The charity donation page is still open for a few days, so if you want to donate, check out the link below. We've also got the forum thread linked below for those interested. The community is always awesome about finding charities and creating events to support them. Along with this, the coalition and the community members always do a great job of stepping in to get some great prizes for those involved. If you missed this, be sure to keep an eye on the forums for the next event. And as always, we'll be sure to update you if we see one arise. On Friday, we finally got some news on a highly requested topic. The social playlist now has crossplay ability. Permanently. The PC player base has been struggling to find matches for quite a while now, so this will help them greatly. On Friday, we also got the long-awaited Gears Art Packs. You should have two packs waiting for you in your unopened packs list. The packs contain five JD skins and five Lancer skins corresponding with the winners of the Gears Art Contest last year. Originally, this was going to be for anyone who played during 2016, but the Coalition has decided to make it available to everyone. Enjoy! In other gear pack news, if you weren't able to complete your Onyx Gold collection a few weeks ago, the packs are back this weekend. They won't be here long, so be sure to grab those last few items you may need. Earlier this week, we got a couple updates on the forums. First up is a quick note from Pez Radar. He mentioned that they are looking into the fact that players receive credits at a much lower rate after reaching re-up 10. Being that the economy is based on getting 500 credits every 5 levels and you can't do this at max level, it really hurts their credit intake. The other note we got is a reminder of the Gears feedback program. For those not familiar, check out the link below. This is a program that they set up where they can poll the community and get an idea of our views and thoughts on certain topics. So far it seems underutilized, but in theory it's a nice system to have. According to Pez's post, we should be expecting to see a survey go out this week, so if you haven't signed up, be sure to do so. And to finish off the news for this week, one of Pez's tweets gave us a sneak peek at what we'll see in some future updates. It appears that the Guardian spawn swap issue will finally be fixed in the February title update. In addition, the ranked lobby system will be getting an overhaul in the next 2-3 to three months. Not much to go off at this point, but it's nice to see that we've got some more good news in the near future. Also, don't forget, we get a new title update each month, so hopefully it won't be too much longer until we start hearing about title update 4. And that's the news for this week. If you found this helpful, likes and subs are always appreciated. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter or check our website to keep up to date with our content. To stay up to date with all your Gears news, be sure to follow at GowFeed, where you'll continue to see real-time updates covering anything and everything Gears of War. Once again, this has been an episode of Gears Feed on TACOM, and until next time, thanks for watching.